Hey everybody, this is Ken. Um, well, I finally did it. I attached the FLIR to the Phantom. This is the Phantom 3. My Phantom 4 is currently being worked on at DJI. Please hurry up, DJI. Um, I'm at my radio station. I work at a radio station. Here it is. And we're having problems with our transmitter antenna. So my engineer asked me to hook up the FLIR to the Phantom, just like you guys have been wanting. And next time, I'm gonna put this on this. Yeah! So this is how I had to do it. It's not practical, but I had to send up my smartphone and block the camera. Of course, you can maybe put something further down on the legs, if this is something you wanna do, but it was really straining to fly and it's going to cut the flight time a lot because of the weight of the smartphone, but it works. And uh, here's a shot of me checking out for hot spots on our FM transmitter antenna. So flying over our little transmitter shed there, over to the mast, trying to keep away from the guy wires, of course, the tricky operation to get this close. Heading on up. There's the FLIR shot right there. I was blind when I was flying the FLIR, so I, I couldn't see it as I was flying it. That wire right there is the inner bay conductor RF conduit that sends the signal up to the antenna bays, which actually transmit our FM signal right there via electromagnetic propagation. And the FLIR, that is one of our antenna bays, and that's where the signal comes from as we broadcast 25 kilowatts over Carroll County. Now the reason why that conduit might be hot and we're having problems with our antenna is because there might be a burned out component somewhere in the chain. And using the FLIR to look for that has been really indispensable to our engineer as we fly away and hopefully don't hit the guy wires. Okay, so here's my radio station. And here's the antenna we're having problems with. Now I thought that I would just send the drone up really quick to do a proof of concept with it when it turns out that the footage you just saw was all they really needed so I'm not going to be able to actually show you the drone flying up there but I can show you where it was flying and you can see how close it was to the emitters. I'll zoom in to show you. I had to fly in between those guy wires to get a shot of those transmitter emitters. Each one of those bays is part of our FM transmitter. And one of them was showing a hot spot that we wouldn't have otherwise seen without the FLIR. So that's kind of cool. This is our engineer, Dave Hacker. We call him the Hack. Say hi to everybody. Hello, everybody. And uh, yeah, he's the same guy that you saw climbing up the antenna in another video. And what he's doing right now is basically assembling the radio version of a spare tire. Am I, uh, am I correct in that? Yes, that is correct. Yeah. So we're gonna drive this station on a donut for a little while. <laughs> and don't not try this at home. <laughs> what do you think? That was pretty good. Wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, Dave. All right. Man. All right. So Fleer and the drone to the rescue. That's awesome. This is our transmitter shed, and yes, it's painted to look like an outhouse. Classy, right? Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Until next time, buh and bye.